Hey guys, Ken Rice here. Today we're going to talk about uh, kitchen cabinet standard sizes. So behind me here we have a diagram of just one basic kitchen wall. And then you can see over here that the wall is uh, a standard 96 inches, uh, which is 8 feet. Um, now some homes they do have uh, 9 foot ceilings, 10 foot ceilings, but today we're just going to deal with uh, the basics for the kitchen cabinets. What we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Now what you have is, there is a term that's called um, above the finished floor. You may see that on blueprints as um, AFF. And what that means is um, your finished floor is basically what it says it is. It's your finished ceramic tile, your finished hardwood, um, but it's not including your subfloor. So uh, your kitchen cabinets are designed to fit on uh, to set on that finished floor when they are installed. So as far as sizes go, 34 and a half inches is your basic standard size for a kitchen base cabinet. Uh, then up above that you have your countertop. Um, now most of the time your countertops will be one and a half inches thick. Uh, that includes your laminate tops, uh, that includes um, your solid surface tops will be one and a half inches thick. Um, if you did go with a hardwood maple butcher block countertop, that would also be one and a half inches thick. Uh, some of the tops that will uh, vary from that will be stone tops. Um, usually those thicknesses are rated in centimeters. Um, three centimeters uh, is one and a quarter inches thick. Two centimeters is three quarter inches thick. So that can change here uh, as far as the thickness goes. But in, in general terms, your countertop finishes out at 36 inches above the finished floor. Now up above your countertop, you have your, uh, your backsplash space. Now most of the time, people will run ceramic tile here and uh, put the ceramic tile on this. So uh, the 18 inch uh, space uh, is a good standard to go with. Um, however, some kitchens have a shorter cook in the family uh, now it is susceptible to uh, lower these kitchen wall cabinets down to where you only have a 15 inch space instead of an 18 inch space. You never really want to go lower than 15 inches on the space in between your countertop and your wall cabinets and here's why. If you did a 15 inch space um, on, your, uh, on your kitchen remodel, uh, any shorter than that you're going to have a difficult time getting your um, your coffee pots in there, your mixers, your blenders, uh, some taller kitchen appliances, uh, that can be an issue. So remember to always keep a, at least a 15 inch space and preferably an 18. And then of course up above that we have a um, standard size wall cabinet. Those are generally 30 inches tall. Now they do sell them taller, you can get them 33 tall, 36 tall, uh, 39 tall and 42 inches tall. Uh, the 42 inch wall cabinets you may see they do run right up to the ceiling. They butt right up against the ceiling. Now up above your 30 inch tall wall cabinets most of the time you'll see molding that goes up there, uh, crown molding. Uh, sometimes you'll, you'll see um, soffits that come out. Now if you don't know what soffits are um, those are the drywall boxes that actually protrude out of the, the upper corner of the, um, of, of the kitchen uh, and then those cabinets get butted right up to that. So, those, uh, so that would finish out at 96 inches as well. <clears throat> now down here is your toe kick space. Um, you have, generally that's about a, a four and a half inch tall space. Your cabinet frames will be 30 inches tall, but there's really no need to worry about that. Right now we're just kind of covering the, uh, uh, the basics of a layout. So um, I hope that helps, and let me know if you have any questions.